Hey, my name is Aiden Carcano. And I'm Makaya Murphy. And you're, and you're watching, watching the Bearcat, Bearcat News Network. Network. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. We are all guilty of placing judgment on others. For this thoughtful Thursday, don't put people in boxes. It's so easy to place people in boxes. Drawing lines, creating sides. There's us, and there's them. Those we feel comfortable around, and those we don't. There are those of us with many chapters, and those just starting their own stories. There's the well-to-do, and those doing what they can. There are those we share something with, and those we don't seem to share anything with. Welcome, and thank you for coming today, guys. Today I'm gonna to be conducting an experiment uh, where I'll ask you a series of questions. Now these questions will be very personal questions. And for us to get a true result, I need you to be completely honest with how you respond. The first question I have is who in here was the class clown? Who is never on time? And then, there's us. We who have tattoos. We who feel lonely. We who have been bullied. We who have bullied others. We who are madly in love. overcome great adversity. And there's the lucky ones, whose team won the championship this year. Beat cancer. 
all of us. Who are created in the image of God. And as one body, we stand together. United as one under His grace. Here is today's riddle. Welcome to Wisdom with Coach Williams. Good morning. This is a Words of Wisdom. I'm talking about this morning overcoming adversity. And I know young people, sometimes in this life it gets difficult, but you have to have faith and just keep doing your best, getting up in the morning, coming to school, and push forward. Uh, I just recently got back after being gone for three months um, with a minor illness, a foot issue, and I'm just glad to be back. And there were some days that I really wanted to be here, but I had to just hold on and push through. And I know some of us, we deal with issues in this life. Therefore, we have to just keep trusting God and move forward. Keep getting up and doing your best, coming to school, being your best self. And that's my word of wisdom for today. Y'all have a great day, Central. I am Simeon Booker, the first full-time African-American reporter for the Washington Post and Jazz Magazine White House correspondent. I covered a half a century of transformative events in the U.S. I wrote a book called Shocking the Conscience, a reporter's accounts of the civil rights movement. When I stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial and watched Dr. King inspire a thousand on the mall in D.C., I was deeply moved. I feel like Dr. Martin Luther King's speech was impactful because he made a huge change in history. I think that because Dr. King helped make life easy by, bring, by bringing everyone together and making everything as one, Dr. King made America life easy for everyone and he wanted everyone to stand together and make changes to life. But people hated Dr. King for what he said. Some even wanted him arrested or worse. But Dr. King didn't care. He made sure he would, he did what was right or what he felt was right. Nonetheless, shortly after 6 p.m. on April 4th, 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot and mortally wounded as he stood on the second floor balcony outside his room at Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee. He was pronounced dead at 7.05 p.m. Dr. Martin Luther, Street Dr. Martin Luther King was were willing to fight for freedom and pride. He risked his freedom, his life, and most importantly, his heart. Thank you, Dr. Martin Luther King. You will be missed. Thank you for changing my life and others and many more. I hope I grow up to be just like you will be. I'm lucky that whatever fear I have inside of me, my desire to win is always stronger. Serena Williams. It's, it's that, that time, time again. again. It's, it's time for a time rewind. It's time rewind for February 15th. 
This is the birthday of the teddy bear. In 1903, toy store owner and inventor Morris Mictum gets President Theodore Roosevelt's permission to use his nickname, Teddy, for the cuddly creation. There's no business like show business. She could belt out a tune like no one else. In fact, Ethel Merman was the preeminent star of the Broadway musical comedy for decades beginning in the 30s, comfortably transitioning to movies and TV. Merman dies on this day in 1984. Unforgettable. The entertainment world loses another great vocal talent on this day, Nat King Cole, who launched his career as a jazz pianist and went on to become one of the first African Americans to host a TV variety show. From the 40s through the early 60s, Cole cranked out dozens of hits. Just Cole is just 45 when lung cancer claims his life in 1965. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. And that is your Bearcat News for today.